Hello and welcome to the Fat Gent. I've been seeing a lot of uh, Facebook posts about Infecta watches and uh, a lot of different YouTube channels and YouTube shows about Infecta. I've never owned one. I have seen them for sale in malls and shops and even some petrol stations or service stations. So, to be honest, looking at them through a window, they look okay. Some of them look okay. So, I bought myself one last week off Amazon. Not expensive. The RRP was £135. I got it for about half that. Maybe even less. I just can't remember. So, I arrived last week again. Nice box. You look in the box. It's got quite a nice blue face on it. Catches light different angles. It's got a polished and a satin stainless steel bracelet. So again, you open the box, it looks apart. It does. So the first thing I took out was a wee instruction manual. It's quite a generic manual. covers There are different types of watches and different styles of watches to do. So on the first page, uh, thank you for choosing an Infecta timepiece. And it states, long ago we set out to continue Infecta's original 1837 mission to offer magnificent Swiss timepieces at modest prices. Okay, so again, if you pick up and you didn't know any better, you would think, wow, I've got yourself a nice Swiss watch for less than £100. Fantastic. You know, how can you go wrong? You, you really can't. So the book carries on and tells you about the types of movement, what quartz, automatic and manual way movements are. It also illustrates the different types of sub-dials and bezel functions, which Infector offer across a range. Now, I've been looking at the Infector range online. It's an amazing the range of watches they've got. It's just, it's incredible. It's worth having a look. Just see the, the, the range and the styles of watches. So definitely, definitely worth having a look. My plan was to wear the watch for a few weeks to get a feel of it, to get an idea of, of what it's like and what people like and what people dislike about it. Now, I understand a lot of people who are really into their horology. They, they wouldn't, in fact, it's rubbish, it's tripe. It's tripe. It's a very, very primitive watch. So I thought I'd give it a wear for a couple of weeks just to get the feel of it and see and see why it's got its haters and lovers. But the second that, that I took it out of the box, I realised that it's not up to much. It really isn't up to much. Uh, in the booklet, it speaks of the magnificent Swiss time pieces at modest prices. But the first thing I noticed, stamped on the back of the watch, Japan movement. Now, I have no issues with the Japanese movement. They make some excellent, excellent movements. But on, on one, one hand, they're, they're flying the Swiss time pieces in their catalogue. And they're supplying Japanese movements, so you only assume they're assembled in Japan or, or assembled in China or Korea. Again, that doesn't matter. I've got Japanese and Chinese make watches, but when, whenever you're trying to hide behind the Swiss, the opening opening sentence in the book is about their Swiss history. It doesn't sit too well. Now the what the watch is called the Pro Diver, and uh, but doesn't have a screw down crown. Just a Pop in, pop out, crown. So, well, it's okay, you can only assume these things are tested. So, pop in, pop out, you know, it's, it's easy. So, whenever you pull the crown out, the minute hand jumps back about two or three minutes. And whenever you push the crown in, it jumps forward a couple of minutes. So, it means if you've set the time to be precise, whenever you push it in, it's going to jump forward and then determine it amount of minutes maybe one minute maybe two or three minutes it's very and there's no consistency consistency with it now also again it's a diver it's only 100 meter water assistant no big deal for 90 percent of people but still whenever you see what's available out there in the divers it's hard to class it as a diver now in a dive watch the bezel rotates so you can keep an eye on elapsed time be that for your air tank or oxygen tank in your back or if you want to keep an eye on how long a meeting's gone, or your parking meter, you know, whatever. This, it's a fixed bezel. It doesn't move. It's got no function, apart from a, for, for aesthetics. And to be honest, it looks like nothing. It looks like plastic. 
with almost like a screen printed of the the chrome over it it's it's rubbish it's it's not good at all it's not good at all so it could be easy to sit here for the next half hour and lambast the watch but i'm not going to do that it feels cheap but it is cheap it's not expensive uh, it's quartz a, a lot of people don't like quartz but a lot of people do like quartz they set it and they don't have to worry about it come back in a year's time and it's still running you know there's no issue there so again it's horses for courses it's definitely a watch for the masses and it's definitely a watch if you don't like spending a lot of money on watches it's a it's a watch you can have and it's a brand i'm sure you can connect as you see a lot of people have they have masses of these infectors which fair enough you know they enjoy collecting they enjoy the pieces i have no issue with that but Having said that, this watch is going in to the wall of shame. First reason is, in the catalogue they say about their Swiss heritage, their magnificent Swiss timepieces. But they're sort of lurking in the shadows of the Swiss timepieces, or the mass, the majority of the Victor watches from what I can see. So I feel as if it's slightly misleading, slightly. But that's okay, you don't expect a Swiss timepiece for the price you pay for this you, you really don't but the main point is it's a dive watch it doesn't have a screw down crown it's only 100 meters water assistant and the bezel doesn't turn the bezel won't rotate it doesn't it, it, it's it, it's rubbish from what i can see maybe this is a faulty one maybe it's just seized I, I, I don't know but the point is it should be moving this one isn't your ones might, they might, again, I could be 100% wrong with what I'm saying, but this one in hand, it doesn't move. And I've tried it and forced it thinking, maybe it was tight, maybe it was just stuck. It isn't moving. Uh, so again, from that point, the quality of the piece is rubbish. And you can't set the time precisely because this the military jumping wildly whenever you push the, the crown back in. So it's going into the wall of shame. 